it's a sequence so string is a sequence of characters and so we can access the characters yet so how we can access the characters by using the square brackets by using the square bracket we can access the elements here we will see the example so string name is banana and so we can get the element of first two. fruit of one means it get the element a a will get it out and next two. so here we can pass the element 1.5 that means so it's how we will get it out the value you can pass the element is in the square brackets you may represent the value as uh, 1.5 or something so you in the square brackets you can access only integer you can access only integer not the floating point value it produce an error the error will be the type error the error will be the type error okay and next one so so you know i think you know the indexing um, positive and negative indexing so we'll see once our uh, positive and negative indexing so we'll see the string b a n a n a banana that string have the positions of 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 and the negative indexing minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and minus 6. this is the negative indexing it's a positive indexing you may produce the values of a fruit of one letter equals to fruit of one it may produce uh, fruit of one means say letters uh, one means it get it out the value a and it get the value a will get it out and next we can use the one so it may produce the 1.5 it may produce the error type error it may produce the type error in case you will use to the negative value uh, so this is the fruit f value we may use the f f of minus 2 it will get it out the value as n okay so we can see the slicing operation so we can find out uh, some length how will you find out the length so you can find out the length So function len, len, len is used to return the number of characters in a string. Len, so it find out the number of characters. Uh, len is in a built-in function that returns the number of characters in a string. So we can find out the length function. We will use to get the how many characters in that particular string you can get it out that function name is len so without len how can you count the total number of characters in a string so you will use in a length function you can get it out the entire uh, string length so without using in a length function how can you get how can you get the uh, length of the string without using a length function how can you get the length value so you can count to initially you will maintain a count value equals to zero you will use an a for loop for i in uh, string variable string variable f u r i t f r u i t f r u it fruit semicolon and you will count equals to count plus one it will increment the value it's uh, counting up to 
length should be count to up to the fruit and so that means banana it ends the banana it will count it finally we will print that count and so you can find the total uh, total iterations of the string total iterations of the string it iterates up to the end and so it repeats the count and finally we can get it out the value so we can find out length without length without length length function we can get it out the value so we can solve this problem it's a length equals to so initially i will use an account count equals to zero and i will use the loop for so i in it's a string you will use the string str you will read the string so you will read the string so i will use st not str so input so you may use enter the string enter the string use the st and count equals to count equals to count plus 1 and finally print count print of count and save or save the file we are using the hash function in the program So find the length of the string. And run the code F5. Let's say we'll pass the string. So Murahari, total string length will be eight. It return the value eight. Return the value eight. So you can represent that in the count f5 again you will pass the value checking it's a character four characters it return a four so count should be so without using any function you can count like this so without using a string function you can count the values like this so why are you use hash function in the program hash function we find out the length without using length function oh. How to travel a loop? Uh, travel a loop means we can find out the string, entire string. We will print the entire string uh, by using a loop. You can use the for loop. That's so up to the length. You can travel it and print the elements. In, the, in case uh, index length, length minus one, it's a up to the length minus one, you can print the characters last character access the last character how can you access that one we can see so we can print the characters like this 
so first you can here you will observe the length here so i am not using a length you can access or travel travel a string so we can print the characters one by one i will use to print so print of i you will print the traverse the entire string you will travel the entire string you will run the code and you will use the so ravi i will pass the where string is ravi it will print r a v i it will print the r a v a i and next to so it did it is traversing so next to so we will see the suffix you can add the every character uh, suffix you can add the every character of a c k jack cack lack mac mac oak pack like this so we can add the elements how can you add those elements you so you can add the some uh, text on the suffix you may use like this so you can add the data entire letters so you may use to any string of content but so you may use the ing form or like this uh, add this ing form so you will use the x and you may add the string ing form uh, it's every character should be adding the ing form x and i will run this code Mm, f5 so we will pass the characters uh, j k l m like that so j k ling ming like that it will be print so you may add the entire text to the each and every character you may use like that so otherwise you will use to the text string type and so every string you should be uh, add the entire uh, add the extra characters or whatever it may be you may use the list list within a string it will be print on the entire string on the uh, ended with the control uh, sorry end the string uh, every string ends with the ing every string with uh, sorry every string ends with the ink ink form uh, you may use the list here you may use the list it will be end with the every string it will add to the ink form so next one we will see the next one uh string slices so we can so i think you know very well about these string slices so once we will touch it and implement uh, the string slicing operations so first we will observe here uh, if the string name is monty python uh, here we will observe the string name monty python uh so m o n t h y monty y t h o n it's the positive 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 and the negative indexing minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 Minus six, minus seven, minus eight, nine, ten, minus eleven, or minus twelve. Good old character, you say that. Okay. So we'll see it in. So first, we will see. the first print statement s of 0 to 5 it will print up to the fourth one uh, it will print month month 
M O N T H. Fifth means it will exclude the uh, slicing operation. Uh, next one we will see the six to twelve to start with an space, and so it will start with a space and end with an a uh, P Y T H O P Y space P Y T H O. It will be print here second one. Here you will observe the print colon three. Uh, it start with an a default. It start with a zero. Default it start with a zero. So banana and uh, zero one two. So B A N will be print B A N. And next to here. So fruit three. It starts with a three zero one two three. A A. So end up to end three. To a n a, it will print a n a. Third one, it start with the three, end with three. There is no element will be printed out. Here, there is no element will print. This is the string slicing. String is an immutable operator. Immutable means doesn't change the value. Doesn't change the value. How we can change the string, entire string? Uh, we can change the. So string means it can used to the. The string name is hello world. I want to change the first character h in place of small h. How can we change this? Uh, we can change means it produce an error. It may be greeting of a uh, uh, greeting of zero. It will change like this. It produce an error. That error will be type error. Type error string assignment doesn't support the item assignment. Doesn't support the item assignment. How can you change this one? So we can add the string and you can use that. Uh, so you can please observe here. First, we can pass the string input. Input enter a string. Enter a string. Or otherwise, we will maintain a single. So hello. I will change the first character. So in case I will change it by using assignment operation. So in the zeroth position, I want to change. I want to try to change the character uh, small h. So then I will print st. After I will print the st. So what will happen? You will see that one run. So it produce st of zero equals to h. It produce an error. That error will be the type error. String object doesn't support the item assignment. So you may change that uh, item assignment. You may use like this. Uh, st equals to st equals to h small h plus uh, st of we will start with the one call. So then save it and run the code. Run the code f5. And it will change it. The st st value will be now. It will change the character. So hello. So you may change like this only. You cannot change. Immutable cannot be changed. Okay. So we can change it. Also, it may be we will try to change it. It will assign some value. It produce an error. And next one, we will see the next one. So searching. So if you in case uh, find a character or letter, whatever it may be in the string, you will find a character or letter. 
if you will form that index position will be returned that index position will be returned otherwise so if the character is not available in that particular string it will return a minus one you will write the program like this so search means you will search the string uh, search in the string with a substring maybe a substring or letter whatever it may be you will find the string within a substring for suppose i want to find the king so king is in a string i want to find a letter n so it will return the position 0 1 2 and 3 it will return the position that position value will be 2 it's available at the second position and i want to search the letter m so there is no m in the string and that situation you will return a minus 1 how can you write the program so will you please understand the question so the question will be so it's a string you can find out the character or letter or the substring whatever it may be it will be available or not you will check it out by using the string within a string it is available you will produce the index value produce the index value it's appeared doesn't appear it will print the minus one you will return a value minus one how can you design that Will you please understand the question so if string is string have a character it will return the index position if string have not an in string have not a character it will produce the return it will return the value minus one all right so we'll see first you will return a string s equals to input enter a string enter a string and next to letter l equals to so you can pass the input enter a letter enter a letter enter a letter and next you will check it out that letter is available in the string or not how can you write that for i so for i is in a string so you can i will pass the string so i will pass the string as an a so king okay you can find out the index position you can find out the index position how can you find out the index position now i want to find the length of the string then we can easily get it out the index value so so index position so the string length will be 4 at a 0 1 2 3 at a string length we can find out the string so the letter will be the n it will n means its position value will be 2 it will return the 2 now i will write the code as per i in it's a range of length of s that is a string and i will repeat the value if i will check it out if of s of i equal to equal to that letter equal to equal to that letter you will find out that letter you can return the index value so return return the uh, you can find out the index position i you will return the i otherwise if the complete value will be uh, return or print whatever it may be you will print it and you may use to print and break it you will use the function you will return it so in case it is uh, it it completely it's completely looping will be repeated up to the end 
there is no character is available in that uh, no character is uh, that character is not available in the string it will print the return minus 1 it, it will print the minus 1 how can you write this one means so logic will be like this if of s of i equal to equal to letter you will print the character uh, so you will print the position of that uh, character otherwise after completion of the for loop you will use to the you will return the minus one or you will print the minus one okay and i will write the code here you will uh, please observe that's a range of uh, range of length of s range of length of s if of we'll find out if of s of i if of s of i so equal to equal to l equal to equal to l then print of position i print of position i then break then break otherwise else you will use to print of minus 1 you will return or minus 1 so i will pass the string i will save this file and run the file and so i will pass the string as h e l l o hello and i will check the value e and it will return the first position zero and one first position it will be written out in case i didn't pass any character so i didn't pass any character f5 i will run the code f5 and we will check it out the same hello string i will pass the letter m it will return a value minus one it will return a value minus one okay so like this you can use this uh, string the length or otherwise you will use the function that function name is dot find so you may check it out the find function you will use the find function and so So we will be used here. Find return uh, return index of uh, index of first occurrences, first occurrence of the given substring. So it may first occurrence it will return the my return that character or number. If if it is not available, then we will get the minus one. It will return a substring it will get the minus one uh, you may use this find syntax you will use to find how to find the character or substring whatever it may be it's a string is yes. find the substring uh, it's a position you may use to given the position it's a beginning and ending you may use to begin or end uh, we can find out that string uh, find out that string easily you can get it out that way so here you will observe that uh, so learning python learning python is very easy it's a string and please observe here learning python is very easy in the string uh, then s dot find of python so it will be the position number it will return the position it's a 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 ninth position it will return the ninth position and the value will be 9 it will be written in java it returns the minus 1 it's r 
so r value will be starting here and it will return here is 3 and r find means it right towards the right it will print the value so position minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so negative is in a minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 cause 2 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. 21th character it will be written. So 9 minus 1, 3, 21. So R find means it will find the right to left. It will find the right to left value. R find. So 21. 9 minus 1, 3, 21. It will return at 21. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, find so between the character positions you may use like this so you will pass the substring a uh, durga ravi pavan shiva like that you can use the string uh, i will pass on a character so you can find out the first position of energy zero two three four fourth position it will return a four and five six seven eight nine so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And so 7 to A, find out the between 17 to uh, 7 to 15. Up to 15, you will find out the position. That position will be A will be the 10. 10 position, it will return the 10. It's Z. So there is no Z in the string. It will return. So they will check it out. Um, between the 7 to 15 will return. There is no jet in this between. It will return the minus 1. R find it's a nothing but in a highest index position of a substring. Highest index position of an, a substring. It will return the right to left evolution. Right to left evolution and return. That is the R find. And index it's a E is an a element index method is exactly same for the find method so there is no difference index and find you can use to index method is find the index position of an a character index position of an a character that character will be written it so e and uh, r index also same like that find and r index and you will use the count how many uh, yes are substring you will count the how many substrings are available so if it is not available in the substring it will return a value minus one it will return a value minus one so here you will observe the how many yes are there how many ab's are there and you will find out the count s dot count you can use to s dot count you can find out the characters um, count the characters so without using an a count function without using a count function how can you count the characters without using an a count function how can you count the characters how can you count so i will pass an one string so i will use the count uh, so i want the letter also <coughs> sorry <coughs> so count equals to zero and if that match the value you should count it count equal to count plus one count plus one um, after completion of the for loop 
will print the minus one. If it is not available, it will return the value minus one. Mm. So you can print the value if if count greater than zero. So you will check it out. If count count greater than zero. Count greater than zero, then you will print print count. Otherwise, else you will print the minus one. So print count. Oh, sorry, print minus one. So you can write like this and run the code and so i will pass the values a b a b a b a b like that uh, b b c a whatever it may be and i will count the characters letter a i will count the letters a so six a's are available so we'll check it out first one two three four five and finally six six a's are available so we can find to count like this and next one so So again, I will run this code and I will pass the A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, B, C, something I will give a F like that. And I will pass it letter Z and it will return minus one. Okay. There is no letter Z in this string. And okay. And we will write the code so we will pass the characters which character is a uh, maximum maximum length that's a maximum count of that particular character i will given a character a b b c c like that that's so a b b a c a b b like that i can find the characters a a count will be uh, one two three and b count you should count it one two uh, three four b value count will be four and c count will be one so you can count a to z so you may use to count how will you count that character so character count and how will you find out that i understand the question so you will understand this question and you can solve this question which one is the maximum means b characters is the maximum characters so four b characters is in a maximum character How can you count this one? Will you please understand this question or not? How can you count these letters? And uh, how can you apply this letter is an A? And you will count it. So, so which one is then a maximum count? That character will be written. How can you return that one? You will understand this.
how can you write this code so first we will find the how can you write means we can write this way so first you can find the list empty list so you can find out the empty list into 26 characters you can find out the first element so a to z you can represent the values a to z and so you can appear that a and so a value count will be one it will represent the list value will be zero 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 like that up to 26 so so 25 we will apply the zero into 26 okay 26 letters we will apply the 26 so one to 26 1 to 26 or 0 to 25 zeros and the list will be available so first you can count that character a a characters will be stored into first point first one how can you find that value is an a and you will print that element so how can you check it out that one and how can you solve that one So can you understand this question or not? First, your response is important. Can you solve this one or not? Will you please understand this question or not? Will you please respond it? Okay, how can you write this one? So first character should be count the values. Yeah number of years you will count the count the characters in this position a so this position a b c and up to find the z so you can find the characters a is here and you will store it into here and b c will count here and c c you will count here and that means how will you count these position elements how can you find how can you found this position elements and you will increment how can you increment how can you increment these position elements so you will use an ascii you will use the ascii characters and you, you can increment that position elements increment that position elements so you may represent the characters of that particular position you will start with an a zeroth position to 26th position you will increment that particular value that character value a to z or otherwise you will maintain a c and so hashing values at like the you may use the another uh, mapping values m you may use to the m letters from a b c d and so on z up to z you will use the another value you can check it out if with an another if value and that situation will occur the first character will be incremented that's so why it will be counted uh, a will count so it will be stored into a particular position so you can use the ith loop here and j to loop is and you will count it and you will be stored into particular place so you will use the two uh, letters or it has said maybe in the two lists you will use the two lists you can find out these uh, elements count so you may solve this one so you will solve this one i said that maybe in there this is the hashing 
you can apply it with an hashing situation will occurred here before that situation is not hacking it's not mapping i'm not mapping this situation i will count it on that situation i will count it in this situation i will map it. okay this is the hashing situation i will map every element okay and how will we map means we will see it. Uh, we can solve this problem now i will use the letters m l e i will use the l e of letters a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t v u s t u v u v w x y z so these are the letters and next one i will apply the some duplicate list d equals to so 0 into 26 26 letters will come out and next i will use the loop uh, for 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 i in le uh, for i in le so le means first letter will pick it out a and i will pass the inner for j you will use the j uh, j means it repeats the count a will be check it out that so okay i will in j in the string yes string s yes. and if of i equals to equals to if of i equals to equals to um, before that count should be count equals to 0 it will represent the count value 0 i equals to equals to j then count plus plus count plus plus or say count equals to count plus 1 count plus 1 after count the value you can pass the after completion of the j loop after completion of the j loop you can print the um, you can pass the count value d of ith position that's a d of ith means uh i will use, use the k value initially zero it's a k equals to k equals to count k equals to count value and next one you can count it like this and finally k value will be increment k equals to k plus one after completion of this you can print print the d value you can see the d uh, then we can check it out which character is the maximum character maximum position of that particular character at uh, so first we will run this code 
so string will be a a a a 4 is 5 b's sorry 3 b's 2 c's i will apply and i will entered here so name error a name error g let's say character so i will apply it in a characters um, It should be represented here like this. Every character will be represented. Produced and a name error. And uh, now I will run, save this file and run this code. So, so I will pass in a four character, C A character, 3B, 2C. So you will observe here, four, three, two. So four A's and three B's and two C's. And remaining characters will be zero. So we can find out the maximum, uh, maximum character maximum length so we can find out that position index uh, maximum index position we can find out the maximum index position and we can get it out that value so we can find out the maximum uh, value here is four so we can find out the maximum so after finding the maximum value m equals to m equals to length sorry max of max of d so we can find out the maximum value okay we can find out the index position so we can find out the index position of that particular maximum value first first index position value we can find out that part first index position value so you can find out the first index position value means um, so d dot d dot uh, index of index of m d dot index of m uh, can be return some value can be returned from value that value will be the index position value index position value so we can see that index position maximum index position value so save and run the file so I will pass the same string, a, 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 4 a's, 3 b's and 2 c's. It will be return a 0. 0 means first index position. And I want the maximum characters, how many characters are there. And I want to print the LE, LE of, LE of that position, LE of that position and uh, that character we can pick it out that character and i will run this code i will pass any characters that means a a a b b b so five a's five b four b's and three c's i will pass to it and the maximum characters is an a
it will read them in so i want like this one i am asking like this a a b b something so are you understand this one is it clear or not so we can find out that we can pick it out the maximum count letter character related character okay are you understand will you please respond so you cannot understand i will explain one more time no problem okay so this is the count uh, it's uh, related to that count problems sir so replacing a string you can replace the string replacing method return a copy of a string where all occurrences of a substring uh, is replaced with another substring you may use to replace the values uh old values to the new value we can replace it so you may use to count uh, in syntax you will observe that string dot replace of old value comma new value that count so it will count to uh, it will count it it may be you will replace two times you will use to count value will be two it replace only two times it may be in the 10 maximum uh, values it may be replaced it it will count you will represent the count first two uh, replacements it will replace it after that they cannot replace the value uh, we will see that one you can see the example so it replaced the position first we will observe here learning python is very difficult In the difficult place it will replace the easy <laughs> will replace it learning python is very easy in the difficult place it will replace the easy okay you will see the text here uh, one one was three was two two was one two one two so you will find out how many ones are there o n e one one uh, two ones three ones are there three ones but it will replace the one it will replace three by two times only and the first two it will replace three and uh, here the one is not replace the three so it replace three three so three three was the race horse and two two and two two was one two two was one two so one is not replacing the character replacing it's a count value only two it replace first two only you can understand this one and next point splitting splitting of string splitting method return a list of uh, list of strings after breaking the given string by specified separator specified separator you can split it so you may used to split to split of separator comma maximum split you can use to how many splits you want that is also a count to represent this uh that is also way to represent it defaultly split by using a space it will be separated uh space it will be separate and in case you will use to comma you will separate to comma it will split the comma comma itself and next you will use to colon colon it may be colon it will be split it out you may use to max split you can use the maximum splits will be 3 and so you will pass the 3 you will use the 3 and right, so i want to so here i want to pass the string dot split 
I want to use dot split of. Uh, so I will mention the space, comma, two maximum splits to be two. And uh, print print of yes. I will pass the yes. And I will run this code F five. So we will pass the string A B C. Uh, D E F uh, D E F G H I J K L M N so L M N O P Q like that I will space given the space and you will enter so you will please observe it will split first only two A B C it will be split it and D E F J it will be split it. Remaining string will be one one string. It will represent as one string. It will not be splitted. And you can observe that. So I will get the value s of three. So I will use the for loop for. I in yes, print I. So you can use splitted values F five. So I will use the same string. So A B C is in a one uh, splitted in the one space, and second it will split the second space. Uh, it means so D E F G second space after D E F G second space is available, and it will split that position. And remaining positions are not splitted. H I J K is not split after the space. Uh, so why? Because it will count. We will pass the count value. It splits only that particular space count only. So we will please understand this one. Okay. And next one, we will see the next one. That is the maximum split and joining. You can use to join the strings only. How can you join the strings? Uh, dot join, dot join uh, strings. So yes one dot join of S two. It joins the string uh, every character to. Every situation. That means we will see two strings. We can assign the two strings. How we can join it? So we will see the two strings. We can pass the two strings. So here you will observe S one equals to uh, Ravi. S one equals to Ravi. S two equals to Raju. So shall we observe this one? Yes, one dot join join of S two. So R. So first letter R will join the S one. S one is Ravi. Second letter Y, Raju le Y. Next join the letter S one. And next J. Next, Ravi. Next, you. So like that, it will be repeated. In case space, you may use the space here. So I will pass a string S one. String S one. So I will pass the space. I want the space. And next, S two will be the Raju. And yes, one dot. So uh, join, join of yes two. You can use two space between the characters, R space, A space, J space, U like that. It will be print the characters. And next one after join. You can use the upper lower swap case. 
uh, like that. So first we can see. String dot upper, string dot lower, string dot swap case, string dot swap case, string dot title, string dot capitalize. So we can see this one. So first we will observe this one. S dot upper, all letters should be uppercase. So all letters should be uppercase. You can pass the upper values. You can pass the upper. Upper letters and uh, all letters should be uppercase. Lower means all letters should be lowercase. Lowercase letters. Swap means. Uh, lowercase letter will be uppercase, uppercase letters will be lowercase. You can observe here the uppercase is there, it should be converted into lowercase. Lowercase letters all are in the uppercase. This is the swap case. So, easily E is capital, it will be small. And next to that is the swap case. Title case means first letter must be capital, that is a title case. So, after the space, the first letter will be a capital. That is nothing but a title. Capitalize means first letter must be capital. So first letter, string first letter will be capital. Remaining all will be small letters. Remaining all letters must be small letters. It will be converted like this. It's a capitalized function. It's the capitalized function. To upper, upper means uh, lowercase letters. All letters should be uppercase ones. Lower means all letters should be in the lowercase. Swap case means lower let, lowercase letters will be uppercase, uppercase letters will be lowercase. Title case means it will be first, uh, uh, so in a word, first letter will be the capital. Every word, first letter will be the capital. And next, capitalize means first to string, string first letter only capital, remaining letters will be small. This is the capitalized. And next one, it's a checking function, checking type function strings. Uh, is alpha numeric, is alpha. So, so alpha numeric means, so in the string, how alphabets are numerics or not. So we will check it out. If it is, so all characters are alpha numeric, it produces the true and it returns to is alpha means only lowercase letters or uppercase letters it will return is alpha it returns the true is digits means only digits it will return true and next is lower means all letters must be lowercase letters or not it will check it out that will be all letters must be lower it will return true is upper means all letters must be uppercase it will return true is title means uh, title case. So every word, first letter must be capital. It will return true. Uh, e space. If a string contains only space, that will return the e space is available or not. It's a true. It returns true. String have an space. It will return true. So in operator. We can use the in operator by using it. So already we can see in the in operator letter in word, letters in word. Every letter it will pick it out the every letter. So we will check it out. For loop in for loop or in uh, if uh, check it out by using the in. So if a in uh, that particular word is available that particular word, we can check it out a in that particular word. Yes, it will be available. It produces a true. Then following statement will be printed. Otherwise, it will be false. You may use the else particle. You will use the else value. Okay, like that it will be written. So we can see one uh, two hacker rank problem, two or three. We'll solve it.
a python it's a we go for the strings concept and we can solve this first one is an swap case uh yes dot swap case so you can use the dot swap s dot swap so in the function you will use the function name so swap case so string s dot swap case string s dot s dot swap case return s dot swap case and we will run the code and it will be printed and submit the code at so it's a p by 2 it may use in the python 3 you will use the same procedure yes dot swap case and you will run the code and split submit the code is the first problem and uh, second one we'll see the second one the strings concept string split and join we'll use the string split and join operation uh, for example this is a string we will split the space and print a at uh, so split on join okay and then task is a this is a string and uh, you can join with an a hyphens so you can join with hyphens uh, join join with is go join using the hyphens okay uh, i can split it so the string string is in a line so line is in a string uh can pass the line here and uh, so line equals to line dot split line dot split uh split may be space it's a split defaultly uh split the space mm, so no need to mention the split if in case any error is occurred we can use the space and then next i want to join the hyphen at uh, so return the string return that string uh quotations i want to hyphen use the hyphen dot join join of line and okay i will run this code okay uh next one you see submit all test cases are successful or not so all test cases are successful in this and next one so what is your name at so first we will see the hello first name last name and you just Evolved into Python. Okay. Uh, 
okay first we will pass the string so they given the first name and first name and last name so two strings they given first name and last name and we will print the string like this hello rose tyler explanatory mark and you just developed into python you just developed into python that string you will be printed and uh, how can you print this one means print of uh, a return or what might print here no so i want to print the substring itself um so first we will see hello h e l l o hello comma uh, first first comma so we can add the explanatory mark uh, for the last one so we can use the last equals to last plus you can add the explanatory mark and you will use the last comma mm, quotations you just delved we delved into into python dot and uh, you can run this code and this is the next you can submit the all test cases okay so all test cases are successfully and next one we'll see the next case so mutation understand the immutable versus mutable by making change to given string the fifth position l of phi is k k that means you can so before that we can see that one. and that position and the position plus one and we print the cap so here the position s will be the string so next uh, it's a character is in a k and the position so now you can write this one so first string of that particular position so you can write like this so it's a string return a string of colon position colon position plus colon position plus k that means character so character character plus the string of position colon so we'll run this code otherwise we will check it out insert that position position plus one so we will change that position plus 
one to put and run this code at correct and run submit the code okay these are the characters you can use like this to solve the problem okay sir attendance link sir sir bed kare okay and like that you can solve these problems find a string you can use to next problem you can find that string you can solve these problems in the hacker rank also so next class we will see remaining solutions or otherwise we go for the list okay thank you if you have any doubts for the today's class so it's a clear So will you please respond? Okay. Sir Banu, sir. Sir Banu, sir. हेलो बॉन्टेज अगरो हेलो मानो सर सर मैं पोस्ट डी अटेंडेंस सर 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 मैं लीव सर सर मैं लीव हो बच्चा आ सर एक्चुअली यस्टर डे वन पर्सन आज पर वन डाउट सर यस यस Actually, uh, one minute, sir. Uh, please uh, stay for a while, sir. Uh, the students who are there in the class, if you have any doubt, please ask here. If you have any doubt, ask here. If not, sir will leave from the class. Sir, kindly wait for a while, sir. Okay, okay. No doubts, right? Sir, you can leave, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.